Hello there, moles. This is your favorite YouTuber, Oliver here. Um, today we're going to be going over all of my steel pruning tools. I have my HSA 26, my PP30, my um, PS10 folding saw, my P. Hold on. PS40 pruning saw, um, and all the attachments for the HSA. So right now we're going to be. Uh, by the way, I got a new background. I thought that was pretty cool, and of course it doesn't cover up the entire thing. Sorry for the vacuum tube. That goes to my um, Steel SE33 shop vac. Or, uh, you know, home vacuum. It's more of a European style if you're looking for a home vacuum. But anyway, um, today we're going to be going over all my pruning tools, and we're going to be cutting through a small little bit of bamboo right here so um, first of all uh, just to be safe I am going to go get one of my um, pairs of steel branded safety glasses these ones are marked over them because these are the ones that I wore in my shot glass what back when I had it it was you know one two semester thing and I'm also going to get some safety gloves out and put those on but um yeah, and I'm going to be looking at every tool and cutting out this little piece of bamboo with it. So, um, I'm, and I, I'm only wearing these safety glasses for debris that may fly back. These are my very nice steel gloves. Right here. I'm going to put my glasses on. And, um, we have, first of all, we are going to go from the least number to the greatest number. So starting out, we have the PP10. And when I say at least the greatest, I mean I'm all on my mind. So it's a pretty nice saw. It folds right up and it can fit in your pocket. In fact, um, let's say you have a little sheath like this. I used to have this sheath for this until I got my pruners and realized what it was really for. But um, right here, you can see it's a very nice little saw. You have to lock it though so that it doesn't come back and cut your finger. Speaking of which, if you look right here, how it kind of looks like there's a hole in the middle. I nearly chopped my finger off with this and that piece of my skin will be forever disfigured. Um, unfortunately, but I don't really care because no one's going to be staring at my fingers. Um, so we're going to start off cutting the piece of bamboo with this. Now, these really aren't meant for cutting little stems like this, but let's see how it cuts. Back, forth, back, forth. And I only have my vacuum because, as you can see, it's making all this damn dust. Back, forth. And, of course, if it was something bigger, I could just go back and forth, but with this, I can't. So I'm only going to cut into halfway with the saws just to show you how nicely they do. They do create kind of an odd shape in the wood, but other than that, it's an extremely clean cut. Now, the thing that I really don't like about these um, pruning saws is the fact that it's a licensed steel product is pretty much bull crap. This is a Japanese-made saw, but it's really only sold under the steel brand name. It is a little bit less expensive than the original saw it is, I believe. So this saw and this saw, all the saws that Steel claims to make, the hand saws, are made by a company called ARS, but you have to go to a local garden center to buy their stuff because they don't sell it at Home Depot or Walmart or any of that stuff. I think that they have the same dealing philosophies as Steel. So this is a very, very nice little saw that you can just stick in your pocket, but the one con is that you cannot lock it shut. So let's say you have it sticking face up. I usually keep it sticking face down if it's in one of my pockets. But um, don't leave it face up because let's say the thing open your pocket. As soon as you reach down to grab that, it's going to come along and cut your fingers kind of like a cheese grater. So always put it into your pocket facing this way. Um, make sure the blade is shut because it doesn't lock. That's one of the only cons about it. And I would have gone the PS20, but the PS20 is a piece of junk. So, like I said, we are going to be going in numerical order. So next up, we're going to gonna look at my steel F826 electric garden hand tool. So this thing he does come with two different kinds of blades and I'm gonna take off my gloves and I show you this because the sheaths are kind of hard to get off. 
It comes with a um, bush blade for, you know, trim and stuff like bushes, which I have used a lot, but I mainly use the grass blade for making the edges in my garden look nicer. So this is what the grass blade looks like. It's very, very nice. So, um, but you, and if you are in Europe, you can buy like a expansion for this, so you can use it as like a lawn edger or a small lawn mower. I'm pretty sure it's not meant for you to flip it upside down and raise it so you can trim higher bushes though. Because, you know, this is kind of the equivalent to hand shears, which is why it's called a battery powered hand tool. And um, pretty soon, I believe that there's going to be a vacuum called the SEA-10 coming to the USA that hooks up to this same battery, and I'm really stoked about it. Um, so I'm just going to put it right on there like that, and I'm going to cut off where I made the cut with the PS-10. So it runs very nicely. You can check the... Here's what I like. You cannot check the battery when the thing is running, but... You can check the battery when the thing's not running. So I guess it's kind of a safety feature to discourage people from getting their fingers close to the blade. There's a little danger label, um, a few little, I swear it was on here earlier. Where is it? Oh yeah, a few little PPE recommendations on here. Wear safety glasses, pretty much it. But you know, it's originally meant to be operated with one hand, but I usually like to do it with two. Hold it like this when I'm using the head shear attachment, but whenever I'm making edges, I like to just go straight with one hand. Or sometimes, you know, wherever I make the edges in my lawn, or garden, I have clover growing around all my gardens, because, you know, it's it's it, when it's tall, it's not very tall. So I get all the stones out from the edges first um, before I even make the garden beds so then I can just bring it along like this and there's no risk of a stone going into it so um, let's just get this bad boy running and it cuts it right just like that and it shoots it right off out of the distance and that's prop it it does make you know a sort of clean cut but like I said before it's not what it's meant for so now we're gonna try it out with the hedge or bush blade as I like to call it. The bush is what Australians call a forest, I believe. So, I want to make sure it's nice and locked in. Then, I'm going to want to get it going for a second. And it cuts just like that. Of course, the cut isn't 100% clean because this is a piece of bamboo skewer. So, um, yeah, it's, it's considerably clean cut but this is harder this is a harder object than most other ones are on hedges so I'm pretty sure that it would probably make a more clean cut on a normal bush because you know this thing isn't really meant to cut through super thick sticks um, so yeah if I was cutting through really thick stuff with this I'd probably be delimbing a Christmas tree or trimming a Christmas tree and Christmas tree limbs don't really get disfigured like that bamboo skewer just did. But um, I am really glad that I picked this up in the summer. In fact, my dad got this and gave me 50 bucks for a new string trimmer, the FSA 57, because I did all the mosquito spraying over the summer. So I am going to take out this battery right here. Um, and then we're going to look at the PP30 and the PS40. So um, it's pretty... Steel does make some really nice tools, and I'm really glad that I have this because I am going to make a garden vlog when I do get them, but I have some Christmas trees coming around March 5th is when they ship, so I'll probably have them by March 10th, hopefully. Um, so here I'm just going to insert them. I'm only doing the Christmas trees. You know, I love Christmas, uh, and, 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 you know, I love to have something Christmas-related going on all season. Crap, I just dropped my bamboo skewer, but I would love to have something all uh, I would just love to have something Christmas going on all season. It's appropriate to be going on all season. Like, not some pervert dressed up like Santa that lives down the street from you and always goes on a jog with a Santa Claus shirt on, which I've never seen before. Okay, got my skewer back. And yes, I do have my fair share of weird neighbors. Um, not going to mention any of them. We're not going to mention any of your names because I fear a defamation lawsuit. These people know me. Trust me. 
people know me, especially in the neighborhood pointed over there from where my window is. Seats point to where the Viking logo over there. Really nice neighborhood, but some of the people over there are kind of snooty, you could say. So, yeah, the... I am doing all this on the HSA 26 carrying case, and I believe that the carrying case that comes with the GTA 26 is kind of close to this. The GTA 26, not Grand Theft Auto, is um, it has a four-inch bar. It's a tiny, tiny little chainsaw with a four-inch bar. Um, I think it the bar is about uh, from where my finger is right here to where the other finger is on the saw. So. You know, it's a very nice little hand pruner, but it is a mini chainsaw, so you probably got to be careful with that. So next up, we're going to be looking at the PP30 hand pruners. Now, I didn't want to spend my money just to spend my money on my birthday, so um, my parents gave me a $300 gift voucher for my local steel dealer, and I really wanted to get the SR200, but... My grandma wouldn't give me the extra money, or my mom wouldn't. So I decided to, you know, do some more asking around. I just got a wrench, which I needed for um, fixing up my tools, because I didn't really have very many at that time. And the one that I had only had one thing on it, and that wasn't big enough to spit, fit the um, muffler, which I needed to look at. And I will put my muffler hack in another video next time I get a gas-powered steel tool. Um, so this, it's really nice, it's second, second, second tours if you're British, but here, um, I'm going to come where the damaged cut is, and I'm going to make this cut, and as you can see, it's extremely clean, like, really, really, really clean cut right here, so the anvil, these are not anvil, pruners or anvil secateurs, I believe that's how you pronounce it if you're in the UK or um, anywhere that speaks that variation of English, but um, it's very pointy right here. Um, this is very pointy and the, um, I believe it is the, that's the hammer blade and this is the, I forget what this is called, but this blade is sharp and this blade is sharp. But on an anvil secateur or pruner, if you're an American, um, would just have a, I believe it's a extremely sharp edge at the bottom. But then um, it will have like a anvil at the top. So this will grab on to, let's say you're pruning your tomatoes. This will grab onto your tomato. And then this will press it down and it'll cut it but with this both the edges cut so it fits really nicely into the sheath and what I really like about this sheath is I can hang it up I can put it in my belt I can clip it onto my belt or clip it on the side of my pants and I really 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 do like that feature and the final tool today drum roll pre drum roll drum roll please steel PS40 pruning saw so it's really nice. Um, I do like it how there's this little roller at the bottom. And as you can see, it's this little roller has marks all over it from when you put the saw back in. I mean, all my friends have told me, be careful where I wear this thing on my belt. It kind of does look like a gun, doesn't it? I don't want people to think I'm some psycho carrying a weapon around the town. But um, you can either strap it to your leg or you can put it on your belt. And when you put it on your belt, you can detach this little buckle right here. And this is your belt loop. Um, and if you don't want the stuff to be dragging up against your leg, you can unscrew this right here. Um, take this little buckle thing off if you're just gonna be wearing it in your leg. So, you know, just like this one, it's a really nice saw, but one of the cons of this one is it is not resharpenable. This is an impulse hardened blade. So if your blade gets dull, you can either um, buy a completely new pruning saw, which is not what I would do because it's wasteful, or you can buy a brand new blade for it. The saw itself was around, s but um, I'm going to get the camera recentered. I just ran out of space, so um, the 
saw right here is actually very nice and it does make a good clean cut to so the replacement blades I believe are about $30 when the saw was about $60. Some of the replacement blades can be $40 depending on whether you get a resharpenable one or an impulse hardened one. But with this, you know, you really can't have this blade on here unlimited. Um, the impulse hardened blades are really durable, but these ones are durable too because it's still or ARS, and I'm pretty sure they only chose ARS, because if it's not quality, it's not steel, and damn, that slogan is not wrong, so, you know, I'm just going to align this right here, and get the tooth dug in, make sure I get my cup marked, hey, my middle name is dug in, all right, And it cut off just like that and went down here. So it's a very, very nice... Boy, did it even make the cut? No, it didn't. Well, you know, it's not really meant for cutting this type of wood. In fact, is bamboo even wood? Can somebody answer that for me in the comment section? Um... But, yeah, can somebody please answer that question for me in the comment section? But yeah, you can basically just saw it like this, and it, like unlike this one, its teeth are a little bit more off-centered. If you look really close underneath a petri dish, which I have, the teeth are all at different angles, meaning that it's a lot harder for them to get into a smaller cut like this. Because you know this saw is not designed for big things. But um. Other than that, thank you for watching. Um, please like the video, subscribe, visit your local Steel Approved dealer or SteelUSA.com for more information. And thank you for watching. Goodbye. Peace.